Hello, I'm here today and to show you how to draw an English Mastiff. Hence, because I have an English Mastiff in my room right now and I would like to draw her. So, um, English Mastiff's colors are basically sort of like the colors of pugs, just kind of. So first, but don't make them too small because English Mastiffs are humongous dogs. Seriously. If you hear snoring in the background, I am sorry about that, but that's okay. So first, you will start off with a circle, just like how you normally. I want the mastiff to be facing us, because that's the easiest position for me to do right now. So um, I will make her facing us, or him, depending on what you want it to be, if you want it to be a girl or a boy. Now we have our circle basic lines, and I'm going to do basically the entire body so here is the neck, and here is the front. Since English Mastiffs are short haired, you don't need to make a lot of hair, and I think their fur is basically on their chest, most of it. So you don't need to worry about making it furry and fluffy, so that's okay. Now the legs, they have to be kind of big, so you're gonna make, just wrap that around. And now I'll make two lines. Curving in and going down. So curving in and going down. They shouldn't be too far away from each other. And now you're going to make a large circle. It's like an oval. It's half like pretty much an entire oval connecting to these legs like that. Now you can start with the feet. Pause. Little circles. Just for now. So there you have your basic dog or a large dog anatomy. Since it's going to be an English Mastiff, I'm going to start with the face because it has cause English Mastiffs have humongous jowls. I'm just going to start by making sort of like a little like top thing. This technique will work with pugs. Well, the, for the muzzle, will work with pugs and bulldogs because they have the same droopy jowls. So now you draw two little lines out, connecting those. You can make it rounder or like bigger, better. So now you're going to draw the nose. Maybe a little bit big because they're big dogs. And then you can draw the chin. Um, If your dog... Depends on what your dog, what you want the dog to look like, since um, because you can make it bigger or smaller or whatever. But since she's basically kind of like lovable, I'm gonna make her eyes look like this. They look a little bit cartoony. Since like they have those wrinkles on their face, they always look like they're like begging. So this is how I draw the eyes for a begging dog. And like this, and then you should make it a little triangle. Like that. I'm going to add some eyelashes because she's a girl. But if it's a boy dog, then you don't need to add the eyelashes. Now you're just going to make a little line right there to make it look like a circle. So you'll make it all your fluffy from this way. So there you have it, your English massive face that's begging. Just if you want it to be regular, then let's make it regular eyes. That's okay. Now you're going to start with the top of the head. It's going to be kind of sort of flat. Cause that's how English Mastiff's heads are. And then you draw the ears. And a little fur on the side of the face. And there you have your English Mastiff face. And um, the rest of the body is basically just a dog body. So you're just going to draw over the lines. Make it a little furry down here. Because that's how English Mastiff's are. A little bit of fur in here. See? Now you're going to do the legs, same on each side. The paws are probably going to be bigger than what you expected because just remember that they have really big paws. And since they're sort of thick and a bit thinner, I'm going to make it like that because they're thick and muscular dogs. They're trained for bear fighting. So they're going to be thick and muscular. And you can draw just two little lines in there for the make sure they look like paws and now the other legs you can just leave this or make it darker 
the line darker to make it more bold. And now you just draw the same paws you don't draw. Just up, and then back, and then this. Up, and then back, and then draw the line. And um, you also need to draw this in here to show the stomach that's connecting all of that together. If you want to add a tail, then the tail should be down here. Somewhat. A little tail. Or my little English Mastiff pup. Now you are finished with your English Mastiff and you're going to sign it. Voila! Enjoy. Goodbye.